Hi everyone, welcome back. For those that don't know me, my name is Mary Beth Pokora and the name of my blog is mybelovedsvoice.com. So we are continuing in our Wisdom is Supreme series and we're still in uh, Proverbs chapter 6. Today we're going to be focusing on the second part of that chapter, which is verses 20 to 35. But as we begin, uh, let's pray and ask the Lord's blessing. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you that you are opening up our eyes and ears of understanding, of disciplines, not to restrict us, but to protect us and to keep us walking in your light, which is the only way to live. And it's the only way to survive in this world. So Lord, I thank you for this time. I give you all the praise and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So yes, as I said, Proverbs 6, verse 20 to 35. But as I begin, the name of the message is called, These Commands Are a Lamp. And if you get the message on my blog, you'll notice that I put this on my blog as a picture that I found. This is a source of light that they used in biblical days. And when we went to Israel, they gave, when we were in Nazareth, they gave us these as a little gift. And, it, and it's very precious to me. But in the center, as you can see, they would pour it with olive oil. And then that would saturate the wick that's inside. And then this would be the source of light for them in their homes. And as a replica and as a reminder, I'm showing you this visual today because these commands that we're hearing, that they seem difficult, though they seem like just um, hard to follow, they really are a lamp and a light to our way. So as we begin, let's open up the Word of God, starting in chapter 6 of Proverbs verses 20 to 35 and I'm reading from the New International Version and read it out loud I encourage you on the blog but I will encourage you as well as this to read it out loud as I'm doing because something happens when it's in the atmosphere so here we go starting in verse 20 my son keep your father's commands and do not forsake your mother's teaching bind them around your heart forever Fasten them around your neck. And when you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. And when you awake, they will speak to you. For these commands are a lamp. This teaching is a light. And the corrections of discipline are the way to life. Keeping you from the immoral woman, from the smooth tongue of the wayward wife. Do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. For the prostitute reduces you to a loaf of bread, and the adulteress preys upon your very life. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So is he who sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her will go unpunished. Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger when he is starving. Yet if he is caught, he must pay sevenfold, though it costs him all the wealth of his house. But a man who commits adultery lacks, wisdom, lacks judgment. Whoever does so destroys himself. Blows and disgrace are his lot, and his shame will never be wiped away. For jealousy arouses a husband's fury, and he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. He will not accept my compensation. He will refuse the bribe, however great it is. Folks, th those are some heavy words. But as I started and as I said, these commands are a lamp. They're a lamp to light our path and to light our way. And you'll notice like in the very first couple verses the the writer is encouraging his son to not forsake his mother's teaching nor his father's commands. Th those are wise words to all of our children, don't you think? 
there is something that God wants to do in building these disciplines in our life. And looking back on my own life, even though this is a difficult teaching, I wish someone would have showed me these words years prior. So, um, as we summarize these, these verses, and I asked the Lord to help me summarize these verses, and there's two thoughts that came to mind. Number one, these commands are simply a lamp, and this teaching is a light. Because Psalm 119 says that the Word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. So what is that saying? Folks, we are in need of guidance to keep us walking, to keep us from walking into darkness. And here's number two. If we play with fire, we will get burned. Dangerous or risky actions will lead us to pain and injury. God's warnings are always to protect us and not to restrict us. So as parents, when we're guiding and leading our children, we want them to walk in safety. We want them and we to, to uh, walk in, the, in protection. And we give them instructions when they're younger to obey and to carry out so that it will carry them out throughout their adult years. We've taught them to listen and to obey. So these teachings, our daddy, our daddy God, is just doing the same for us. Part of the growth, growth process is embracing disciplines. So be blessed and have a good day. Have a good weekend. Remember to check out the blog, mybelovedsvoice.com until we chat again. Bye-bye.